Welcome back, you're watching Tales of Gear and uh, in today's video I will introduce you to a, a very significant brand in the tactical gear history and this is American Body Armor, ABBA. Uh, in today's video I will give you a brief history. Unfortunately there isn't too much information out there. American Body Armor was founded in uh, 1969 and uh, was part of the BAE Systems Products Group and became one of the first uh, modern body armor producing companies in the world uh, when they introduced a patented combination of uh, nylon and steel plates. So uh, American Body Armor was uh, making body armor and uh, they introduced a, uh, a new concept of doing things. The armor was uh, thinner, lighter, but um, more bulletproof so to say and uh, this set a completely new direction of uh, the body armor uh, industry and um, the significant, in my opinion, a significant uh, point in ABBA history are the uh, mid 80s uh, where when American Body Armor bought off uh, elevated urban operations, uh, to, they took them over and took their designs and continued uh, making tactical equipment as we uh, see here. Uh, today American Body Armor is part of uh, Safari Land and continues production of what they do best, body armor vests. The time frame I'm interested in is from 1985 to 1994. The, I like the gear from that time frame the best. Um, the labels uh, are the same throughout these uh, 9 to 10 years, but uh, something to point out is that American Body Armor used um, a few uh, sizes of labels. For example, on smaller items uh, like this double pistol mag pouch and uh, items like that or uh, when the placement of the label requires a smaller label they have used a label like this. Okay. Then on items where they could put on a bigger label, they have used this bigger label. This one here. And when we compare them, they are the same basically, but the difference is in size. As you can see, um, the early stuff while taking over EO, um, there were no labels. For example, this drop like holster, there are no labels on that. And um, on body armor vests, they have used even a larger label, which I will show you in a sec. Uh, so these types of labels were used from 85 up to 94 and uh, they changed around end 94 and beginning of 1995. Um, it, the new labels were simpler, uh, just two colors, black and white, and they look like this. Uh, another thing to uh, point out about uh, the different uh, products made by American Body Armor is the color. Um, mainly black, but they produced as you see um, in olive drab, uh, but there are also uh, all this gear made in the woodland camo and it's pretty rare to find vests, holsters, pouches, etc. So uh, black, OD and woodland but there is also a series of products that were made in a tan color. So um, in future videos I will show you, show you all of them. Uh, we will talk um, about each of the items I have in my collection. I will show you in detail everything and uh, I will always try to incorporate uh, a few reference pictures of such gear in, uh, actually in use. In terms of collecting, uh, American Body Armor made gear is highly valued and I'm sure it will stay that way uh, in the future uh, simply because um, of the impact it had 
in the history of um, tactical uh, equipment, uh, the industry, uh, in terms of uh, reenacting or simply making impressions from uh, this time frame. Uh, if you go for either SEALs, um, Force Recon, law enforcement, uh, etc., um, whenever you see a cool setup, uh, there is a big chance there is one, two or more uh, items made by American Body Armor. So it's unavoidable and uh, if you're serious in collecting, you will for sure have some American Body Armor made items in your collection. Um, there are uh, collectors out there that have um, a huge uh, collection of uh, American Body Armor items and um, it, it's just amazing and uh, thanks to all of them who are willing uh, to show the world what they have it helps in uh, understanding and identifying uh, American Body Armor made gear um, because there are some items that look totally weird and you would never think it's made by ABBA but it is so uh, we're coming to an end uh, of this video uh, hope you find it interesting um, please join me in my future videos about American Body Armor uh, thank you for watching and uh, have a great day thanks bye